Hello here, welcome to my channel. In this QGIS basic course, I'll show you user interface of QGIS. After opening QGIS, this will be shown like this. Now we have to understand little bit about this user interface. In QGIS, first of all, we'll find menu bar. It's called menu bar. Under this menu bar, we have 13 menu bar like project. Under this project, we have lots of tool, new, shape, new from template, open, save, print layout, layout manager, many things. Then edit, view, layer, setting, plugging, vector, raster, database, web, mesh, processing, and help. See, in case of layer, we can easily add layer by clicking add vector layer, add raster layer. Many option is there. If you want to add vector layer, click on that and then browse here now we have to find one vector data so i have vector data i want to add it here my river this is a vector data river is selected so open it and add it and just close so this is river okay now see this call toolbar under this toolbar see if we click over there then it shows it's a map navigation toolbar right under this map navigation toolbar we have pan pan map to select it zoom in zoom out zoom full zoom to select it okay many toolbar is there then another tool important toolbar project toolbar under this project toolbar we have new project open project save project new print cloud and important show layout manager so this way, if we want to of this toolbar, suppose it's called project toolbar. Okay, so just click over there, this white area. If you click this white area, then see this toolbar here, project toolbar. If you uncheck this, then see, now it's off. If you want to add it again, just click over there, then click this project toolbar. Okay, it is here. We can replace it in any way. Suppose you want it here, then we can place it here. Okay. And here is called site toolbar or also it's called manage layer toolbar. Under this manage layer toolbar, we can add any data like add vector layer, add register layer, add mesh layer. This is the add delimited text. If your data in in text, then we can add it in CSV file format, add special layer. So we can easily manage it. Now see this called panel. We have two types of panel, layer and browse. See view. Under this view, we can find this panel. There's a one panel, layer panel, another browser, browser panel. If you uncheck it, see now browser panel is not visible here. So again, go to view panel layer panel so now layer panel also not visible so we can add it again by clicking this like layer panel to important panel layer panel and another browser panel okay so this call browser panel there are two browser panel one browser panel and one browser two panel so under this browser panel if we click this browser panel we have our drive like c drive d drive e drive and here one vector tiles wms and data and here xy tiles we can add here open street map directly by clicking this this open street map then if you go here layer just refer select a refer now see this is refer okay so we can easily identify who is whoever it is it's called map canvas also it's called map view okay and now see it's a blank we can open here toolbox by pushing it's called pushing if we click over there toolbox then it will open here there are many toolbox we can use for calculating our raster or vector data then it's called status bar here it's called status bar under the status bar we can find here latitude and longitude that's the coordinate system here scale okay then here magnifier then we can zoom in zoom out by magnifier okay this is 100 percent so rotation then most important thing projection 
there are two types of position one geography position and position system in case of position it is epsg epsg is a worldwide useful position system european petroleum survey group 4326 4326 mean wgs format if we go google and search here this epsg this one epsg io website just type here 434326 and search here now see it's a wgs 84 format that's when it's a geographic coordinate system and another case if you type here 3264 3264 then your atm zone like i want to search 45 3245 now search it now see it is UTM zone 45. So it's a position system. Now see this called locator toolbar. Here we can easily locate any toolbar. Suppose type here open. Then how many toolbar open here? You can find it. Open state map. It's the open layer. So then suppose I want to calculate slope. Type here slope. So we can find how can we calculate slope here okay this is a technique slope so this way we can use this toolbar this is called locator toolbar so this is a really very cool user interface in QGIS thank you so much